Hello everyone and welcome to Songbird Symphony. This is a rhythm based platformer game that looks absolutely adorable and I kind of wanted to try it out. I also feel like I've seen the game somewhere before, like it just released on Steam, but I feel like I've seen the game before on itch.io or Game Jolt or maybe Kickstarter. I don't know, just something about the game kind of has a deja vu feel about it. Um, but anyways, they had a demo available for the game, so I kind of wanted to try out the demo and see what the game is like before I buy the full version of it. Uh, if you guys want to try out the demo as well, or buy the game, I will leave a link in the description. But I thought it'd be fun to play, because I don't play a lot of rhythm-based games. Like, I have a sense of rhythm, but it's very, very basic. Like, I can keep a beat, and that's about it. Um, because I used to do marching band, but I never really got into music or music theory or, you know, drums or anything like that. Anything heavily rhythm-based. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out and see what the game is like. So with all that being said, we'll get into it. It also looks very adorable because we play that little guy. We play a bird named Burb, which is appropriate because that's probably what I would have called them anyways. We all want to find a place where we feel like we truly belong. I'm not singing. I'm completely tone deaf, so I can't sing. I apologize. Tap when the sh shrinking circle touches the coin. Okay. Hmm? What was that? I thought I heard something. Was it just my imagination? I don't know, maybe someone stepped on a, an accordion. Also, sorry if I go really quiet, because I have to concentrate on the rhythm. There it is again! Something's responding to my singing. I'm sure of it. Let's try singing some more. Maybe I can find it. I also like how many visuals there are. In case... There we go. In case, like, you don't have, like, a very innate sense of rhythm, you can still, like, look at the visuals and have that help you. Are we hatching out of an egg? That's absolutely adorable. There we go. Oops. <laughs> so much for my sense of rhythm. But we were still able to hatch. Just not probably the most gracefully, but we hatched. Oh my, hi. Are you related to Kevin from Up? You look like you might be. <laughs> Why do you have antennae? Can birds have antennae? It's news to me, I didn't know that. Oh, look at our little, is that our head or our butt? That's a butt. Oh, look at our little butt. We look like a little penguin. <laughs> we are so cute. Oh, this game is so adorable. Makes my heart happy. Press any key. Okay. Good morning, Uncle P. Uncle P, where are you? Why is there music coming from over there? This music, I like it. I want to go see where it's coming from. All right. So is Uncle P a peacock? I never realized peacock had, had antennae before. I mean, we used to have peacocks close to where I live, so I've seen peacocks before, but I guess it's been a long time. It's back when I was like five. <laughs> New diary update. Uncle P's smooth moves. Just woke up to a lovely day, but Uncle P is missing. Maybe he's at the usual place, at the far end of the green meadows to the east. I think that's where the music is coming from. Gotcha. What's up, little dudes? Aw, are you taking a bath? Are you like chipmunks or squirrels? I don't know. Are you leading me somewhere? Oh, they're bees. My people. <laughs> um, okay, hi. You need help? Bzz, bzz. Found flowers. Bzz, bzz. Where are my friends? Hmm, maybe I can help somehow. Maybe. Are these your friends over here? Can, can I lead you to your friends? They're right over here. They're right over here. Right over here. Look, you're like, I'm afraid to go over without you. I'm afraid they're going to attack me if I just like get too close to the hive. Can I like... Hey. 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 Guys, your, your buddy's over here. I think, I think your queen needs you. Your queen bee kind of needs you. I don't want to get stung. Can I get hurt in this game? I don't know if I can get hurt in this game. Okay, they're after me. Uh oh. 
Oh, we did it. And we got a music note out of it. Aw, oh, look at our little dance. Oh, we're so adorable. I like the mu or the water effect as well. I like the music effect, but the water effect is nice. Um, okay. I mean, like, I don't think bees are all that vicious. I feel like they get a bad rap in video games. But at the same time, because it's a video game, I was really nervous they were going to sting me. I don't know what that did. Is it just like a checkpoint where I can save, I guess? I don't know. What does this do? It goes along with the music. Are we just making music? Are you making music with the forest? Because that would be absolutely adorable. Oh my god, we're up here now. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay. What's up, fishy? What's up, fishy dude? Oh no. We knocked out the fishy. Hooey. Don't you want to play with me, Mr. Fish? Can't breathe. I mean, you can't breathe, but that is a very good magic carp impression. Like, honestly, I can't even tell the difference. I like that our head bobs with them. Yeah, dance next to the drown- or would it be drowning if they- I don't know. I don't know what the correct term would be. I guess dance next to the suffocating fish? I don't know. Hi! You know there's a wall there, right? Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Where are you going? Hey, don't leave without me. Where are you rolling out to? Are you like Autobots? Are you gonna roll out? I guess so. Can we help you get across? C can we help you get across, maybe? Aw, that's so cute. We're giving you a concussion for sure, but it's adorable. Hmm, a strange looking feather in a conveniently placed book. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I should try to find who this belongs to. I know. I'll take note about it in this book so I don't forget. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I guess we can just take someone's book and start using it for our own needs. Unidentified feather. Enveloped in darkness. Seems bigger than it really is, but for some reason it doesn't look very menacing. I wonder who this feather belongs to. Maybe a bird of prey? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So that's like our little hi. My, you are big. You are a biggin. Okay, I'm a go. That's a little terrifying. That looks like the long way down. If I press and hold jump, I'll be able to glide across. Okay. So, like this. Oh, that's so cute. And it's also so pleasing. Yeah. And we got a music note out of it. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Uh, what do I do with you? Do I have to be, like, on the rhythm? Oh, okay. I got it. By George, I think I've got it. There we go. Oh no, we're pushing the snail across. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hi? Um, excuse me. Does this belong to you? Oh. Little chicken dude? Who are you? What are you doing here? I really don't like the shadow in the background. I'm questioning why the eye holes are empty. Like, why light is shining through the eye holes. It's a little freaky. Oh, uh, I found this feather. I thought you might be looking for it. You're not scared of me. Um, a little. But you look sad, so I thought I would help you out. Thank you. My name is Zona Ark. I'm Burb. <laughs> I have a badass name like Zona Ark, and I'm Burb. <laughs> Thank you, Burb. You're always welcome here, and you can keep the feather. Aw, thanks. I'm looking for some birdie, so I'll be off now. Goodbye, Burb. Are we not going to mention that we have their, uh... Oh. Okay. Hi again. Um, I mean, we never left, but hi again. Are we not going to mention that we have their notebook? I guess not. We're just going to leave. Bye. All right. So that's where Zona Arc is. Do you guys not like Zona Arc? Because like the second we went down there, you guys were like, nope, we're peacing out. Are you going to follow me everywhere? Oh, no. You're going to stay over there. Okay. Hey, look, it's him. Shh. Don't be rude. I mean, it's just an observation. Okay. That's a mean observation. <laughs> he looks so weird. Don't say that. He's just different. 
I don't know what P was thinking. Shh, he might hear us. I don't know, I'm trying to do like a bunch of different girl voices. Why are they all girls? Aw, no, don't be sad. You're an adorable individual, unique from all others. Speaking of individuals that are unique from all others, hello, are you P? Are you Uncle P, I'm guessing? It's quite the moves you got there. Uncle P, Uncle P, what are you doing? Good morning, Burb. You're up early today. I was just practicing my smooth moves. Smooth moves? Yes, my smooth moves. My boogie woogie. My fancy footwork. Are you gonna get foot loose on us? My dance. Wow, sounds like fun. Oh, it sounds like someone's interested. Want me to teach you some of the Uncle P's smooth moves? Yes, please. All right, let's go. Just getting straight into it, even the lizard is joining in. Is that a lizard? I don't know. Before we start, you'll need to know what to do. First, listen to my voice. Okay, now it's my turn. Okay. Okay, now, oh, geez. Listen for the tambourine, that's when it's your turn to sing. I'm sorry, I was slightly distracted. I don't know what came over me. Great job, now let's begin the actual lesson. That wasn't the actual lesson? That was just like a warm up? Okay. Are you gonna be dancing like that the whole time? Those are definitely some moves. Very elaborate moves that are dummy thick. <laughs> Aw, oh, look at our little burb. You're so cute. You want to learn how to dance? Uncle P will give you a chance. Follow my steps as I go. Together, we'll put on a show. Okay. Do, 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 do. It also kind of helps to say it out loud. Do, 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 do. I like that it's all the same button. Whoops. Oh my god. Hey, that was actually pretty good. Can you lift the mood? It's so fun to dance together, but don't stop now, it's getting tougher. That doesn't rhyme, wait a second. <laughs> oh, it's on the half beats. Whoops. I really messed that one up. I'm sorry, I got eager, I was just so excited. Oof, that was bad. Hey, now you've got a little guy. That's something no one can deny. Now that the song is through, you've learned to dance like peacocks do. Hey, we got a B. Hey, we got an A. A for accuracy, I guess. Didn't feel very accurate, but okay. Yay, now he can dance like you. You've got potential, son. Aw, son. That's my boy. <laughs> When you grow up, you'll woo the tail feathers off of any female that comes by. Wow, will I look like you when I grow up? Aw, we haven't had the talk yet. Uncle P? Oh, son, let's not worry about that. Aw, there's more important things to worry about. Like breakfast. Come on, let's go get some. Okay, Uncle P. But you go ahead first. I want to practice dancing just a little bit more. Aha! Nice to see you so enthusiastic. Don't be long now. Okay, bye. It's one heck of a running, you know, animation that you have there. It's very, it's very interesting. <laughs> Uncle P didn't answer my question. Am, 
Am I really a peacock? Oh jeez, existential crisis time. What am I? You're a burb. I know. Uncle P always said the owl is the smartest bird in the forest. Maybe he'll know. I'll find him and ask him. Okay, we gotta go find Mr. Owl. Ask him how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. Also figure out what kind of bird we are. Um, okay. So can I, like, redo it? If I- I don't want to redo it again. But I'm guessing this is where I come back to if I want to, like, practice more. Got it. Oh, Uncle P dropped his feather. Hmm, maybe I'll hold on to it. I might not be back for a while. What are you plotting, Burb? Why will you not be back for a while? Okay. P's feather. Looking at this colorful feather reminds you of happier times. That weirdly catchy song and dance. <laughs> Upbeat, quirky, and always ready to extend a helping wing. Every birdie gets along well with Uncle P. Okay, and then <laughs> Zona Arc. A feather enveloped by darkness. It seems bigger than it really is. Okay. Yeah, that suits him. Uh, a lonely looking little bird in a cave. Is that shadow moving on its own? Oh, is it like a Peter Pan situation? The shadow has a mind of its own? Uh-oh. I got stuck. Okay. Well, I guess we have to go find Mr. Owl. So are we going to travel far from home? Oh, hello. Bzz. Where flowers? Bzz. I don't know. Can I take you back this way? There are flowers over here. You can join the other bee colony. Well, I don't know if you would actually like that. That'd be kind of like, you know, kingdoms clashing. Nope. Okay, I guess you're not coming with over here. So the flowers have to be somewhere in this area. Got it. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find you some flowers. Ah, I found a feather. New feather update. An identified bird. A blue feather curling at the edges. You don't want to admit it, but it looks kind of cool. Who does this feather belong to? It's like, who's that Pokemon? But bird edition. Can I go in here? Nope. Okay. Um, so what's over here? Oh. There are a lot of spiders. They got some flowers. Do those count? I love that- Oh, hi. Hi there, Mega Chunker. Should we leave? Are you- are you good? Or are you bad? Or are you indifferent? Can I just hop over you? Oh, you got little babies. Can we say hi to the babies? Hi, babies. How do- how do I get up to the babies? You have a very big belly. Am I supposed to jump on said belly? Hi. Oh. Hi. Aw, even they're bouncing on the belly. It's like hop on pop. Yeah, you guys are just gonna hop on pop? He has a very empty stomach, apparently. There's like nothing in there. Um, okay. Where does this lead down to? Can we go visit the spiders? See what they're up to? Maybe they're having a bake sale. I don't know. Hi. No. Oh, these flowers count? Oh. Okay. You guys are just going to make some sweet little songs together. You're like conducting them with your little, uh, what are those called? Like your honeycomb wand? All right. Well, I guess we helped you find your flowers and some new buddies. Uh, so now we just have to find Mr. Owl. Oh, you need help. What do you need help with? Where did my darling go? I'm guessing this is your darling. This strapping young frog over here with the top hat. Where did my darling go? You guys are literally like two feet apart. I'm guessing object permanence is not a thing for you. There we go. The happy couple reunited. <laughs> my love, Ribbit. Okay, I don't know if I should be in the middle of this. Burb, get out of the way. <laughs> That's not somewhere a burb should be. All right, well, I'm happy I was able to reunite you two, I guess. If that's all, I guess I'll be going. Congrats on the newly wedded bliss, I guess. I don't know, they look like they just got married and they have some similar interests, so that's good. Um, but I guess now we just have to find Mr. Owl. Like, I think there's like another task I need to do, but right now I just want to find Mr. Owl so we can see what that does. Oh, is this the way to Mr. Owl? I guess so. The demo will end after Burb finds Owl atop of the elevator. Um, you know what? That's fine. I feel like we've done quite a bit of the demo, and I don't want this episode to be too long, so we'll go say hi to Mr. Owl. And see how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. I already did that joke. Okay. 
So I'm guessing I can save here in case I really mess up. Oh. Oh my. Well, I guess interior decorating is not uh, Mr. Owl's thing. Is anyone home? Apparently not. Hello? Am I supposed to sit on your couch? Seems a little invasive, but I guess it works. Yep. We got an O animation. Oh my. Hi. Certainly got that swivel about you. How do you not break your spinal cord doing that? You remember how I said you, were, you didn't really have a thing for interior decorating? I was wrong. Who do we have here? A lost little bird. Oh dear, little one, there's nothing to fear. So, tell me all your worries. You're not sure of your species. Don't fret, the owl is here. Kinda hard to like match up like words with a rhythm when you're not singing them, I've come to realize. Oh. Oh, I gotta hold it, okay. That was hard. <laughs> You've come to the right place. I'll gladly take this case. There's no other bird who can. Let's pick up the pace. Twas just a little taste. Oh geez, come now, my little friend. That was just a little taste? It's gonna be interesting. I got them mixed up. Ah, I keep missing the ah. You did well, my guess, did I? So color me impressed. You're quite the little bird. I bork that big time. You've done your best. You've passed this little test. So let your troubles be heard. Well, all right then. I mean, I really messed it up at the end because I'm not gonna like, it's like any game like Guitar Hero or like I remember in Night in the Woods they had something like that. Hey, I gotta be. Um, like anything where like you have to like remember how to prioritize different notes and stuff like that. Like when they come in a certain order and you have to like memorize the order or like, you know, you have to gauge which one you need to do first. I'm terrible at stuff like that. Or like another thing is like Undyne's fight is like that. Um, in the genocide run, if you haven't seen that before, like you have to like prioritize which arrows you should like take care of first. And, like, you have to be very precise about it. I'm terrible at stuff like that. I can't do stuff like that. So, like, the fact I had, like, two different things to pay attention to, I was like, I don't know where I should be paying attention to first. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just panicking. <laughs> I just go into a full-blown panic. But we got a B, so I guess I didn't do that bad. I did, like, slightly below average, I guess. Okay. Aw, oh, and that's it for the demo. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were going to show some sort of story-related thing after we beat the owl. But I guess if you want to figure out what kind of bird burb is, you have to buy the full game. So if you guys want to do so, I will leave a link in the description. Or if you want to try out the demo, uh, now that you know what to expect from it, I really like it. I think it was a nice little demo, and I always appreciate when developers come out with the demo of the game that's free, so you can try it out before you buy the full game and be like, eh, it's not really for me, and you have to like return it and get a gift card or something like that or some sort of like store credit. So it's just easier when you release a demo so people can try it out. And then if they like the game, then they like the game. Um, personally, I don't know if I would be very good at the game because like I have a sense of rhythm. I have a, you know, a very basic sense of rhythm. Um, but when it comes to like prioritizing what buttons to hit and stuff like that, like once it starts to get more intricate, like it did towards the end, I usually struggle in that department because like once I like lose my sense of timing or my sense of rhythm, I'm done. Like you guys saw, like there were a couple points where like I like messed up and I wasn't able to bounce back from it. 
So I don't know if this kind of rhythm game would be for me, I guess. It's like, like I said, it's like Guitar Hero or DDR is another one. I was terrible at DDR when I was younger. Um, just because like something in my brain does not function in the way that like I can like prioritize things in the correct manner. Like I just see a whole bunch of stuff all at once and I'm just like, I, I feel overwhelmed. I can't do anything. So I just go into a full panic. Um, so like I said, for people who have a sense of rhythm and are good at games like that, then I would highly recommend it. Cause like I said, it seems like an adorable, wholesome time. Um, but like I said, I don't have the best sense of rhythm or prioritization, I guess. Not so much rhythm. It's more prioritizing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I would be very good at this game. Uh, but if you guys want to check it out, like I said, I'll leave all the information in the description and that is going to be it for Songbird Symphony. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. And of course I do want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.